Nev, I just wanted to say what you did back in Arlathan. Thank you. Really, you're a good friend. A really, really good friend. You helped me as much as I helped you. But you're welcome. I never had a sister, but, well, you're one to me. And that means a lot. Trying to pull the heartstrings means a lot to me too, Belle. And right back at you. You dozed off in your breakfast this morning. You might think about getting some rest. I did, a little bit, at least an hour. I had a thought, and that became a plan, and then it was breakfast. Just try not to fall asleep somewhere dangerous. Oh, don't worry. Lucanus gave me some coffee. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Well, you and coffee should mix well. So the legends about Gillanane, creating the Hala, healing pools, they were true, but twisted. Wonder if that's true with Elgernon too. I really hope not. Why's that? Well, they say he can move the sun and the moon, which seems bad for a lot of reasons. Oh, great. Well, powerful people claim a lot of tricks they can't pull. Here's hoping he's one of them. I hope you're right. Something on your mind? <sighs> Syrian, I love him. I missed him, but I've made peace. For the most part, I really have, but part of me still asks why. He was my brother. I just wish... <sighs> Family shouldn't be this hard. Too many families are, but that's not on you. You stood by him when you could, and stood your ground when you had to. That's the best you could do for both of you. He saw it, too. Are you close with your family? Not many of them. Oh. The ones who care about me, care. If the rest want a piece of my story, they can read the papers like everyone else. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... You're fine. For all my troubles, can't say I don't get by on my own. And sometimes you'll find the people who'll stick. Did you stay up all night again? Those blinks are stretching pretty long. No. Well, yes, sort of. But I think I'm on to something. Look, I know I'm not one to talk, but even I sleep sometimes. You need to rest. I will. Soon. I promise. I wish I could believe that. I was talking to Antoine and Evka. They can focus more on studying Blight now that Lavendel's secure. I'm glad we could help them. And Lavendel. It's a tough little place, and overdue for a break. It reminds me so much of Demeta's Crossing. I know saving it doesn't bring those people back, but... It still means something. Yeah. This is exciting, isn't it? I'm excited. You're going to have to catch me up here. Oh, just everything. What we're doing, everything we're learning, the lighthouse. Considering where that's led us, I'd take less of all three. I wonder if the crows offer lessons, or just training, even. Looking to learn their techniques? Oh, no, not that. I don't want to be an assassin. Not really. But it's always good to learn new things, some of them assassin-adjacent. Not scary at all. What did you think of the Kachapuri? The ones that didn't catch fire? They're a real treat, Belle. So, the sequel to my serial story... It's all blood magic and tears, and the second most innocent character was the killer! I tried to warn you. It hinted at a third series. Maybe things get better. I hate to break it to you, but the paper said the run is over. What? No, but it can't end here. Sounds like a typical serial to me. All right, Belle. There's a rumor among the Doctown paper sellers. 
The author for your serial had notes on a third series. Really? It's never getting printed. I'll tell you that up front. But if I track down the notes... Yes, please. Oh, wow. What? Does this mean you're working a case for me? The author note caper. Let's not jump to caper before I've started. Nev, I'm almost done with the next part of my story. Would you... Do you think you could read it? You can be completely honest about what you think and... Um... Sure thing, Belle. I'll take a look when you're ready. Great. Thank you. Antoine lent me a compound he's been developing for Flaming Arrows. He's curious about how it reacts in the Fade. Well, this is going nowhere safe. I thought I could test him at the lighthouse. Although, Evka had the same reaction as you. Can't imagine why. Old stories about the Dreadwolf, about Solus. Do you think they're all about him? What do you mean? Maybe most of them are his, but over time the truth shifts and there's been a lot of time. Sometimes it's convenient to pin a story on someone else, or take credit for another one. Huh. He could have lied or inspired other liars, I guess that fits, but it makes things even more confusing. Part three of your serial story. I found the author's notes. Really? Thank you. Uh, how did it go? The notes were in a false bottom drawer. The author had been framed for murder. And he might be the heir to the parlous fortune. So it was a caper. <sighs> it was a caper. Solus's memories are... Let's hope they lead somewhere. Do you ever wonder what the Fade smells like to a squirrel? No. Milk, eggs, cheese, bread. Milk, eggs, cheese, bread. Restocking the pantry? Yep. I repeat the list to myself so I remember. Is that really all we need? It's all some people will eat. So, Belle, how's the orthonaut caper end? There were more than just notes. He'd written the last chapter, and there were drawings of some of the characters. Look at that. Happy ending after all. Yes. Well, not in the story. That was tragic. But yes. Good enough. I got a letter from Strife in Ireland. And how are the Veil Jumpers? Good, stressed, uh, busy, the usual. They found an artifact recently. Small, strange hum. All it seems to do is repel wisps. Really? Don't suppose they'd let me borrow it? I can ask. There's something under the floor just before the Alluvian room. An artifact of some kind. What's it do? I'm not sure. It's responding to the Alluvian in some way. I'd love to learn more, but... I need to move it. Let's not break the mirror. It probably wouldn't, I don't think. They're unconnected, but connected. But you're right, no. Probably better it stays put. Antoine lent me another one of the compounds he developed. We thought we could compare this one's reaction to the Fade with the other one. If anything catches fire, you know where to find me. How's that artifact the Veil Jumpers lent you? You said it repelled wisps. It does. I saw it working. Well, I put it on my desk, and wouldn't you know it, every wisp in the lighthouse turned up. Oh, you're interested, so they're interested. Fascinating. They really like you. Yes, they do. Okay. Not weapons, but maybe some kind of motivating force? You're back on the lighthouse again, aren't you? I'm just saying, we can move it anywhere, travel the Fade, go exploring. Isn't your room currently not physically attached to the lighthouse? Right. Good point. Okay, I'll stick to weapons. That's better? You know, I'm not sure anymore. 
You talk a lot about jobs going sideways, but you win some too. It doesn't always stick. Not all of them, but enough, right? All right. An early job. A kid went missing. Felt like the whole damn world gave up on them. But not their sister. She came to me after everyone turned her out. I still remember how tight that kid held my hand when I found them. Those two run a scroll shop now. Did you borrow my volume on Tivinti Focal Magic? I did, and I'll bring it back once I find it again. You know, I had a week once where nothing happened. Complete tedium. Sometimes I miss it. Really? Didn't you find it, well, tedious? That's the draw. Only thing to worry about is not having enough to worry about. Oh, I do that anyways. Pretty much all the time, actually. You know any canary recipes? I wish, but they only teach them to their cooks. And, well, they don't leave home much. Not many chances to, I guess. Have you asked Tosh? I did, but that'd be a lot of oil. For the frying, I mean. There's so much to do here, so much to do out there. One step at a time. Not that I follow my own advice. <laughs> <laughs>